I guess I can, if you guys hop back into the bubble, I can use the help action to assist you on your next actions. No, no, it's it's probably fine. You're yeah, good. it's it's totally fine. I mean, I won't kill everyone. Just having the bubble up is pretty battle breaking, combat breaking. If you guys can hop back and forth in and out of it, I guess it depends on how quick that thing is. Sure. Why does a crossbow deal more damage than a short bow? Uh, it has twang. Yep, it's got all the twang. Mm. Okay. That's supposed to do more. They only shoot once per round. I updated the map. It was That's really fine. bothering me. Uh, yeah, sharp as you can get. Mm -hmm. Mechanically speaking, that is why. Hmm. Did we not pick up the armor? Uh, no, you guys shoved it in the, uh, what you call it? Okay, yeah. it is in the bag of holding. It resisted, but you guys shoved it in. But, uh, Fine plate armor covered in moss. Alright, there's my bubble. Alright, I can delete this other one. I, I think. How do I... Yeah, there's one in the bag. How do I do that? Layers. Nope. Pointers. Nope. Pointers. There we go. Pointers. Yeah. Remove a pointer. Oh. oh. <laughs> Whoopsies. <clears throat> I done removed your pointer. My pointer. I have a wound? What did I get hit with? Oh, the <laughs> ceiling. Stalag, a stalactite? Right. Uh -huh. When did I take damage? <laughs> you guys got rocked by that stalactite. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I have to do one thing real quickly, and then I think I'm ready. Uh Right, the bullet. Who bestow curses touch? I'm not going to touch that thing. Bullet rye. Touchy, touchy. <laughs> uh, I um, I have a couple couple spells that should be able to win this battle outright. You got wish, right? I do have wish. Oh. We're going. We don't need wishes. I could just cast Suggestion on it and make it carry me. <laughs> oh, man. Good, probably. Does it have to be a humanoid? Uh, a creature I can see within range that can hear and understand me. Oh, yeah. I don't think you can understand yeah, you. It speaks. Maybe you can't understand you. I don't know. I Honestly, I don't know. I assume it's an animal, but... Right. We have to enter the cave. Intelligence. Ooh. Ooh. That's better. Uh, yeah, so it's just going to be us tonight. Uh, Claire's watching uh, movies with my, my kids, and uh, Dane's apparently pooping. <laughs> so, and uh, Ben may be late. We'll see. Your uh, kids are still up. Uh, I know, so right? <laughs> um, yeah, they're spending the week with them, so we've been sans kids for the last four days. Oh, that's right. This is your kid free week. Yeah, so we did things like we went to the movies, and today I slept for like four hours. So nice. Solid day. Nice. Um, but yeah, so last we met our heroes, uh, you know, you guys had made your way through the secret passage that the Chancellor had offered to give you. You rode some mine carts. Uh, unfortunately, some of you not maybe paying attention um, as much as you should have and been hit in the face with some stalagmites. Uh, or tights, I should say. Um, <clears throat> and coming briefly to rest uh, at the long of a uh, at the end of a long journey in a room that seemed to be clawed open um, after some investigation by Calliope, um, to which she shouted down the hallway something in the regards of "Come at us, bro!" And um, at the same time, Valoran was casting a spell when a big boulet came charging at you and smashed into the now form force field uh, protecting oh, yeah. all of you from uh, harm. Just, hey, where's harm? <laughs> Not here. Uh, I just want to point out this is like one of the first times she's actually cast a spell of her speciality. That's nice. She's an abjurer and this is the first abjuration spell I think she's ever cast in really? how many sessions? I don't know. I mean it was probably a, a, a good choice at the time so solid. This one's uh, pretty tight if you have enough time to pull it off before the battle. Uh, with that, Korok stepped out through the bubble, shot, I think, the arrow 
of mm-hmm. the Phoenix at it. Yeah. Um, and that is where we ended last session. So uh, we'll have uh, everyone roll initiative, and uh, Korak, you'll get a uh, surprise round. I just rolled a natural twenty. Boom, chakalaka. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna roll these guys just just in case. Uh, we won't need them. We can three man this. Uh, I don't I don't plan on actually using three man molten core. <laughs> right, Chris. That's right. Did you see that uh, they're coming out with? Uh, classic WoW. I saw it, man. <laughs> Sometime Why? in the summer. <laughs> Why? Are you going to do it? Uh, yeah, I probably will. I'll, oh, I think man. I'll play pretty casually, but uh, I, I plan on subscribing. Nice. Awesome. With that, Korak, roll your damage for your Phoenix arrow. Like the <laughs> legend of the Phoenix. Do you want me to make an attack roll? Yeah, go ahead. Nice. I'll say with advantage, because it was not expecting it. Alright. It had already given up. (laughs) (laughs) So Korak steps out of the bubble with a... And it lights up like a streak down the hallway. um, And erupts into a wall in in the corridor. Uh, Valoran, you're up. Does he stay outside the bubble? Oh, um, I guess that is oh yeah, it's true. Yeah, I guess I could move. Yeah, he's still um, moving. Yeah, I guess I'll head back, pop back into the bubble. Um, Valor is going to spend her turn, considering she didn't actually explain any of this shit. <laughs> She's going to take a step up and say, "Okay, um, I can't, um, I can't leave the this thing, or else it'll disappear, and you guys can walk in and out as Korak just did." But, um, Korak, maybe next time you should shoot for the gaps in the armor just like they did in the Battle of Valorin in uh, uh, 300 uh, RD. Um, right behind the arm. I hear that works. I'm going to make a history check to try to use my helm action. I fail. Uh, <laughs> um, so I'm still using the help action. It's just you don't get my bonus. But your, your next attack roll, Korak, will have advantage. So Cork, right, your, cool. your eyes glaze over slightly as she's trying to explain oh. this to you. But at the end, <laughs> you, you picked up words like between the armor plates, and you kind of nod at her. Uh, um, yeah, so I cannot leave the bubble or it disappears, but you guys can pass into or out of it. That's all she told you. Nice. That's my turn. It's a good turn. Calliope! I'm all keeping right. Newly inside because he gonna get eaten if he's gonna leave. How... 30 feet. Perfect. Clypey's going to say, I'm going to try to talk to it. And then she's going to step outside of the bubble and she's going to cast suggestion on it. I don't know if it'll work. Um, If it won't work, if it can't understand me, but she's going to say, carry us to the end of the tunnel. (laughs) So it fails, but it only works if it understands me. Um, So it pursues the course of action I described to the best of its ability um, for as long as I'm concentrating or until it's completed the action. So the real question is, did you speak in common? Because it might have different languages. Oh, I don't even think, okay. She said, okay, good point. Um, she in, she in Dwarvish said, yeah, in Dwarvish she says, approach me slowly and then carry us to the end of the tunnel. And then she is going to wait to see what it does, but get ready to jump back into the bubble if it charges her. Uh, I I will say that there's this slight pause as it's been kind of walking away from you, and it kind of snaps over its shoulder uh, and and looks at you. There's uh, almost that like confusion you see on dogs in the street where they kind of cock their head slightly, uh, and then it stamps its foot uh, and that's that's what it does. Okay, she yells over her shoulder, 
I don't think it worked. <laughs> and you then see she, Valorant, like waving you back in. And she then very frightened. she's gonna back into the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're leaving Newly as is. Yeah, I just want to keep Newly in, and uh, I I don't want to risk sending Newly out. Um. So the bullet on its turn is going to uh, leap. Looking out, the cave system seems to be about uh, a good 30 foot high, uh, it, maybe 10, 15 points, uh, 15 feet across in some points. Uh, and as it kind of stamps the ground, um, you see it kind of uh, crouch down slightly and it wiggles its tail and then leaps um, a good 15 to 20 feet in front of you guys. Um landing with a loud uh, and it kind of sh shimmers and shakes uh, the area around it. Some of the uh, stalactites behind it kind of fall down um, and shatter into the ground uh, and then it runs straight headfirst into the barrier again. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think it worked. <laughs> um, is, is that a solid like... Yeah, it is impenetrable until I leave. So, um, how about roll an attack? <clears throat> we'll see if... Me? Yeah, we're going to see how... how if, it, if it cuts through his armor and does any damage. Oh, oh this thing? thing. Yeah, because okay. it, it, just, it just smashed into it pretty hard. Like a spell attack? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll just roll, like, my Ray of Frost. Just roll, like, 5d10 damage. <laughs> okay, I definitely, definitely do that. <laughs> Nice. Uh, yeah, so as it kind of buckles down and charges forward, uh, it smacks, and, and you would imagine that, you know, if it was a smaller animal, it would it would probably be knocked unconscious uh, with the tremendous force that it has. Uh, and it kind of shakes its head slightly, and uh, it, its its shell, uh, you see a shoot up through the uh, through the actual armor, uh, and the, the faceplate of his... Um, uh, the faceplate that he has grown over his face is, uh, is slightly damaged, and he takes five points of damage. Bloop. And that is his turn. Korak, you're up. Uh, so there's not really any space for me to go out of the bubble. Presuming it's kind of like blocking all the space. You can probably swing through it, though, right? You should, like, mantle it and get to the other side of it. <laughs> Parkour. Like it. Parkour it. Is it. Is it possible to, like, poke my sword through the barrier? Uh, Andy, will it actually allow it to go through? One second. Stand by. <laughs> Stand by, please. Um, a ten-foot radius mobile dome of force springs into existence around and above you. And remain stationary for the duration. It ends if it, if I leave the area. Uh, this creatures and objects within the dome when you cast the spell can move move freely through it. All other creatures and objects are barred from passing through it. Spells and other magical effects cannot extend through the dome or be cast through it. The atmosphere inside the space is comfortable and dry, regardless of the weather. Oh, nice. Until uh, the spell ends, I can command the interior to become dimly lit or dark. The dome is opaque from the outside of any color I choose, but transparent from the inside. I will say that, um, seeing as that you can pass through it, anything you're holding can pass through it, so you can make an attack against it uh, with advantage because it does not see it coming. Okay. That's true. It is an opaque sphere, so it is technically blinded to us. Blinded by the opaque sphere! <laughs> this spell is the poison. Oh. Oh. Roll, roll again. You have advantage. <laughs> Forgot to click the advantage. Oh, that's that's better. Whew. There we go. Uh, yeah, that con that connects with a solid <laughs> right into the front, into his face. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna re-roll those twos. Mm. All right. So eleven damage instead. So I need to add one more point of damage. Mm hmm Okay. Bloop. No, that doesn't seem right. Because you would have re-rolled. So you would have taken... Oh, yeah. Okay. I can do math. Just, cool. Yeah, I just switched the four for five. It's cool. It's cool. All right. 
Uh, I added that in. Uh, he looks slightly irritated. Um, uh, are you moving or are you staying put? I'll stay put. Uh, Valorant, you're up. Cool, 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 cool. Um... I mean, tactically speaking, it's probably best for me just to leave this impenetrable sphere up and let you guys just kill it easily, but I don't know. <laughs> it's really boring. <laughs> uh, Is it a concentration, Andy? Nope. Just last eight hours. <laughs> Map. <Snap. laughs> why, why would you drop it then? So I can cast a spell. <laughs> no. Just so I can cast. A, no. just, just so I can cast a spell. Throw, throw a dagger or something. I can't. I do have. I have a longbow. Yeah, shoot it. Ooh. Oh shit! I forgot. I'm actually good at a longbow. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving advantage. I can't see it coming. That's true. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Um, Valorant looks like she's about to cast a spell, and then she mutters under her breath at uh, at Calliope. That was a really good idea. Sorry, it didn't work. And then she pulls a bow off of her back. Um, it is not Harm's longbow. Because Korak has that one. It is her own longbow. I thought... Did I give you Harm's longbow? I don't um, think so. Maybe she, not. She I still her own. She okay. her own. Oh. <laughs> She's real rusty. <laughs> I mean, it's been a while since you used it. And, you know, you're trying to shoot through a couple of people. And you're still a little nervous about using your first real spell in front of the group. And you just... Pew! <laughs> And it uh, she's she's wildly like, like this direction and is sticking into that pillar. She's not too broken up about it. Her mouth, like, at the corner of her mouth twists in a little bit of a frown, but um, she just kind of nods in determination and knocks another arrow for next round. <laughs> That's my turn. Uh, doing anything with Newly? Oh, you skipped Calliope. No, crap. Calliope. <sighs> Sorry, I clicked, the, I clicked the next arrow. My bad. That's fine. You didn't want to take a turn. All right. I am going to... No, I should save spells. We're probably going to do other things. Um, we're going to... No, blow them all. Another thing, Abe, um, this thing does have a bottom, just so you know. A bottom? What do you mean a bottom? Oh, it means it it's cannot a be perfect sphere. Through. Yeah. It's, it's actually, actually a hemisphere, hemisphere, so it's like flat on the bottom. Hmm. So it could like technically burrow under us, but it couldn't come up through. Just saying. Not that I was gonna do that. For a reason. It's cool. Fine. It's cool. It's fine. It, it's fine. Uh, it's cool. 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 cool Calliope's cool, cool. gonna back away, which I'm assuming is not gonna invoke an attack bop since it can't see me. It cannot see you. And then she's going to. This is the first time she's done this. Pulls an arrow out and like pulls it across her loot strings and uses her loot as a bow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. And it makes a sweet noise. Does it make like a... <laughs> yeah, because she like plays the loot while she is shooting. Um, do I also get advantage because it doesn't see it coming? Uh, yes, you do. You're technically invisible to it. Yes. Yep. All right. Or hidden from it. Man, I'm loving this. I mean, it's your, it's your first thing that you've ever tried with it. Uh, yeah. Though the, the yeah. music you play is is very beautiful. Uh, you, yeah. hit, you hit several chords all at once, and you almost seem to focus too much on the actual music itself. Mm, yeah, uh, yeah, and the, yeah. And the arrow goes uh, rogue. It is now st sitting in the same place as uh, Valorant's arrow. Mm, okay, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Um, as a bonus action... Uh, I'm gonna uh, inspire Korak. Nice. So you, you've got a you got a D8. Yes, because I'm fifth level now, so it's a D8. Isn't this spell ridiculous? <laughs> <laughs> so good. You're so good. So right. good. So good. Done. Uh, you doing anything with Swift? Uh, with uh, 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 uh Nuli. Nah, uh, I, until further notice. Yeah. Until further notice, I'll just say, skip them. 
Uh, Swift Eye is gonna uh, see the fun that you guys are having and come running over here. Swift Eye can't see shit. And uh, she can hear it. God. And she can hear the fun. She is going to smash her knuckles together with her newfound um, weapons. Oh, that's uh, right. And there's this there this here. radiant spark and cold damage that kind of emits from her from her fists, and she is going to smack it twice. Smack it, smack it. There we go. <clears throat> um, so there's a so bright flash of light as her left hand smashes into it, and then um, with her right hand, she is going to smack in with a uh, icy cold uh, damage right to the, the front of it where the crack seems to be emitting, and it, it slowly keeps growing uh, with <laughs> as it kind of uh, creaks up. Uh, parts of the face shield seem to slip away. Um, uh, there's a small grin on her face as she used her weapons. Um, <clears throat> with that, the bullet is going to um, start to dig. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take its entire action to do that. It's Rack, you're up. Uh, not quite yet. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's, its tail is still kind of sticking out. It kind of seems to take a while to kind of get its claws going. and it's, it's about half in, half out. Okay. Is the can I swing at the tail? Uh, yeah, it's still it, it pretty much started to burrow right uh right outside the the opaque sphere. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. you still have advantage, sadly. Okay. Ooh. Mm, yeah. Mm. There it is. Oh. Boom. And this is with my great weapon master feet. Oh yeah, it is. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so as its tail flips around back and forth, you see an opening in the armor, and you just swipe at it with all of your might. Um, as it connects, it seems to go through effortlessly, and the end piece of its tail splits off and, and goes flying over that way. It was an epic. Oh, I, f I forgot, actually. Um, I have two, two attacks. attacks now, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you do. Level five. Alright, let's try this again. I click advantage. Two criticals in a row. You can do it. Yep. No pressure. It. Close. Oh. Do you critical at 19 yet? Uh, no. Oh. That, that, that's the champion subclass. Oh. Boom. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> um, seeing its tail flip off, you, you spin your axe uh, or your sword in midair and you come crashing down into its now. Uh, bloodied stump of a tail uh, doing some massive damage, uh, mm -hmm. hitting bone and sending you flying everywhere. Awesome. Uh, it is It is now looking um, very hurt. Uh, yeah, yeah. And seems to be digging just like kind of slightly now out of fear uh, of trying to just get away. Sure. Uh, still, still in view. Found okay, in view. okay. Um... Crap. Just drop it. Who needs that sphere? <laughs> it's cool. It's cool, 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 cool. I mean, this thing looks like it's basically almost dead. I'm just wondering how much Valen cares about stopping it from running away. <laughs> how often does a wizard get a melee kill? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's she's not that she's not that prideful. She all she doesn't care so much about nature being a city rat. So she's not. She's not like. Don't kill it. It she probably make, has a family. She <laughs> make about that shit. You can make Nuli get a kill. Uh, she. No, actually, I can't. Nuli can't attack. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Um, I will do this though. Um. Ooh, forgot my ray of frost went up in damage. Um, I am going to drop the bubble. So on Valorant's turn, uh, she's going to see this thing escaping and noticing that her friends want to kill it. Um, they just have this bloodlust in, in their eyes that she acknowledges their feelings of murder. <laughs> and she's going to attempt to shoot this thing with her ray of frost. Nice. Because that will slow it if she can hit it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andy. Yeah. How do you want to do this? Boom. 
Um, she, she, with a wave of her hand, this uh, shimmering gray field in front of you guys disappears. And um, she just kind of spins the long, the long bow around in her hand and points the tip of the long bow at it. And um, a ray of frost shoots out of the, the, sh- the, uh, the bow itself. Mm. And this thing's like frozen half in the ground. Uh, with that, you hear this very loud, and its tail that had been kind of flicking around uh, stops flicking around, and it is stopped moving altogether. I mean, you know, it it, it was just it was just gonna leave us alone, right? It was it was walking away. Yeah, but it would have found us later in the tunnels. It's probably true. Yeah, there was no escaping this beast. <laughs> and if it had just, like, given us a ride, we wouldn't have killed it. <laughs> um, I read in some stories that some people use the armor of these things to to make armor. She pokes it with her, with her bow. I can't. Okay, <laughs> do you guys want to rest? How long will this last? And Clyde kind of, like the bubble that's gone she oh right it. right 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 so you ray of frost i can make a new one though if you need it is anybody is anybody hurt nope nope Unscathed. no yeah do you guys want to try to get any bullet armor plates uh i just know how we're gonna carry them i think the bag of holding well, no, the bag of holding doesn't really get full, right? It can do 500 pounds. Yeah, it has a carry limit. Okay. Um, I'll make a go for it. Yeah, the only heavy thing that's in there is the full plate. So, yeah, we can shove some yeah, you're, you're good. animal pieces in the bag of holding. <clears throat> in fact, I need to fix the bag of holding. I'm pretty confident it's 500 pounds. I think that sounds right. Yeah, it says max weight 500 at the top. Oh, does it? Um, I would like yeah. to try to make a history check. Well, who's who's uh, trying to cut plates off? Um, I'm so guessing what? that would be kind of like a survival thing. I don't know. Yeah, that sounds good. Well, Korak only rolls natural twenties on survival, so <laughs> yeah. So let's, let's well, make this happen. Sure. You've got you've got the bardic inspiration that's going to expire soon, so you might as well mm. just use that. You can add a D8 to, to that. All right. Yeah. And I would like and? to assist you. Okay. Um, so Valerie kind of just like folds her hands in front of her and thinks for a second and says, okay, I do remember that when um, uh, Vandrin the Elder first fought one of a beast like this, there were tough sinews on the backsides, so you really need to approach from the flanks. So maybe if I succeed on this history check, boom. So you have advantage and (laughs) an additional plus three on your roll. What do you have? What is that you're using? I spent a feed on this shit. I'm a historian. Oh, what a nerd. (laughs) What a big old nerd. All of them took, quote, useful. Yeah, inspiring leader. Wow, that that was really good. Plus three. Plus three, sir. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you wrote a, a, a fifteen altogether. Is that what you're saying? Yep. Um. Yeah, you're able. To, well, what exactly are you trying to find? Really, is the is the real point? Uh, just cut off a couple uh, of the plates. Okay. Um, they're they're pretty massive. Uh, I I will say that you you're able to kind of cut down one of the the shoulder plates that seems to be a uh, more of a, a, a part of a plate. Uh, you cut off both of those. So you've got two large uh, shoulder plates of a bullet. Um, and I'll say as you continue to roll, since you were doing that, um, if you wanted, you could probably get um, you know, a couple a couple smaller pieces of the scale. So maybe like a handful. <laughs> Sure. While this is happening, Calliope makes her cloak billow, and then she uses her belt to dramatically sit 
on an invisible chair. <laughs> and then she is going to write a song about how Calliope Farstrider and her radiant company met a massive creature in the tunnels and Calliope used a spell to enchant the creature to dig them a tunnel through the center of the earth where they found riches beyond <laughs> measure and a kingdom that declared Calliope the ruler in the center of the earth. Are you are you singing this out loud or are you just Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It? Okay. No, she's singing it loudly while she creates it. All right, roll the performance. Yeah, yeah. What's your passive perception like? I'm just curious. No reason. <laughs> no reason at all. <laughs> passive Damn. perception? Uh, uh, passive perception is 16. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Valorant kind of looks at, like a, uh, a strong combination of sad and mad. <laughs> <laughs> um, though, uh, y- your passive perception was at a 16? Yeah. Uh, you you notice as you're standing there that um, Frederick uh, has a slight tear in his eye, uh, seeming to move him to uh, to tears. Very That's impressed. right. That's right. It's a touching song. That's full of shit <laughs> that she's making up. <laughs> it's <beautiful. laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, with that, what is what is the party doing? I don't think we need to rest, really, because we're no, really no, going yeah, going a couple hours, as far as I recall. Uh, Swift Eye is the only one currently wounded at nine hit points. At, at nine total, or down, down nine? nine? No, no down nine. But it says temporary uh, ten, so I don't think it actually absorbed that damage. It does. So no, I so she's it. only so she's, she's, she's fine. I got it. I fixed yeah. it. So yeah. no, you're you're good. You're actually Calliope, the only one with actually a wound. Yeah, because I got hit really hard by the fucking cave. Should have fucking so ducked. Uh, so in front of you, you see uh, the cave system that you, you, you had seen before as the bullet appeared. Um, there, what looks to be, you know, maybe a 15 foot wide um, by maybe 15 to 20 foot high um, corridor. Uh, <clears throat> seems to be a natural cave. Uh, the beginning part seems to be what was, uh, you know, dug out via the bullet itself. Mm-hmm. Um, but you see probably about a good 15 to 30 feet in front of you, and the rest becomes uh, very dark in appearance. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I would like to send Newly out, unless you guys want to do anything. Abel, you open the map again. I accidentally closed it. Oh, my God. Yeah. I know, I know. I'm the worst of <laughs> I had to, I had to make new maps for you around. guys. Not expecting you to shout down the hallway. Come get us, you fucker! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. All right. Um, yeah. So <laughs> Valorant's eyes will just roll back into her head, and she kind of just puts her hand on the wall next to her, um, and she loses her own vision. But instead, will cast, cast her, her eyes, eyes out through Newly and fly him around the cavern. All right. He uh, has dark vision of 120, so he should be okay. Um, all right. She'll she'll kind of um, softly give her party members a play by what he's seeing, so they'll have a general idea of this. All right. So I will say uh, the first thing that Newly would see, and you would see through Newly's eyes, is right here seems to be an opening. Uh, <clears throat> what looks to be roughly the same size as the uh, original hole that you guys are looking out through. Um, could be have uh, could have been created by the actual uh, bullet itself. Okay. Uh, in front of you seems to be one path, and then to the right seems to be another. Uh, what's over here? Uh, you mean just right here? That where I put Newly. Oh, uh, yeah, that's just a uh, oh 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 oh. Oh, 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 there we go, dead end. <laughs> dead end. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'll fly Nuli up this way. All right. So as Nuli flies up that way, uh, seems to be a uh, open pathway. And nothing seems to be kind of sticking out. Just a uh, small open area, probably about ten foot across. Let's keep on looking. Um, I can right. issue commands. 
to him. Let me pull up the spell. So I'm not bullshitting. <laughs> Read the fucking spell. Um, so I can. Uh, while it's within 100 feet of me, I can communicate with it. So I think I'm pretty much at the limit right now. Um, All right. So I can <laughs> see through its eyes. Um, uh, that's 60. So I can probably get him to about... That's, that's 90 nine. where my arrow is now. So All right. He's still within range. Um... I think there's no range limit on looking through its eyes, but I just can't issue commands outside of 100 feet. Excellent. Uh, so, all right. Oh, there's so much, so much here. Uh, yeah, so he's just going to fly around. Okay. All right. Um, she. She is going to fly. All right, so... Um, you see what looks to be, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, as you come up close to this, uh, seems to be a uh, dead end. Mm -hmm. um, seems to be like a cave in. Uh, the rocks have long since kind of tumbled in, um, and a couple of things all happen at once. Uh, yep. Andy, through her eyes, <clears throat> you see uh, a cloud. Uh, it's it's a reddish, somewhat of a cloud. Um, Here we go. So uh, the cloud appears uh, all of a sudden around your entire vision. Uh, oh, nice. There is a reddish glow, and then Newly blinks out of his of existence. And it <gasps> dies. It dies. Oh no. Um, Valorin blinks and just like stands there, kind of like shell shocked for a second. And just, she's been talking pretty much constantly since he left. She left. Newly left. Um, and then she just kind of like staggers a little bit and just goes silent. So, uh, what happened? Uh, she's dead. She was here one second and then she was just dead. Now she's gone. You're out, but and now I don't know what to do. He's <laughs> really upset. No, no he hasn't died yet. Oh no! <laughs> Can't she, she just deal with a lot of stuff? <clears throat> she she blinks and like shakes her head and like gathers herself a little bit and says, "Yeah, yeah, definitely, of course, duh." Um, yeah, of course I can. can. It'll take a while, like an hour. <laughs> Korok shrugs and, and just keeps and starts walking forward. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, Korok, you, you again see. Uh, well, I guess for the first time you see uh, what looks to be a clawed out tunnel that way. Uh, what looks to be animal uh, remnants around it. Uh, there's an opening to the north and an opening to the east. Um, Quark, Quark, look out for a red mist. That's what got, that's what got Newly. Red mist. Red mist day. Eh? Quark will ready his sword. Nice. <clears throat> Maybe it's a vampire. You know, yeah. if it is a vampire, the best thing to do is use a stake through the heart. Silver would be preferred, of course. Some, Some people say that garlic does work, <laughs> although it hasn't been <laughs> in, any, in any scientific studies I've seen. Coracle will pull a silver stake out of his backpack and just kind of twirl it in his fingers and then put it back. I got gotcha. you. Does, does that work? Does that work on the girls? Usually? <laughs> <laughs> twirling a twirling a steak. <laughs> oh, burn! <laughs> she 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 really it looks like she's not really sure how she's gonna take this. <laughs> Quark will just shake his head and keep going forward. Okay, 
Look out, there's a passage to the right. <laughs> um, I'm going to stealth aid. Alright, make a roll. I'm good at this one. Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah. Alright, so you feel pretty stealth. Uh, where are you going? Um, and I'm, I'm going to be just hiding along this wall, and in fact, as I approach Korak, I am going to cast a spell. Nice. Um, I would like to cast Invisibility, um, so she start, starts to chant, um, and she, um, as she's chanting and weaving her hands together, she reaches up and very quickly, like, plucks an eyelash from, from Korak, and... <laughs> Blows it on him. <laughs> Not worse at all. Him, and he goes invisible. So, Korak, you are now invisible for the next hour. Until nice. you attack. Why did you have to pull out my eyelash? God! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! Because my component pouch was all the way down on my belt, and I didn't really want to root around for one, so... Thanks. <laughs> God! Dick! Oh, <laughs> mother dick! I have uh, I have a whole vial of them somewhere in here. She starts like brushing around inside her component pouch, but um, I really need to organize this thing. Um, all right. While this is happening, um. I don't know if I'm close enough. Actually, how far is? No, it's not. We it haven't is, seen it yet. Yeah, it is. I don't remember much of a range. Um, yeah, while this is happening, Calliope's gonna like just like sneak up into this corner a little bit, and okay. she's gonna make a minor illusion of an owl, and she's gonna send it thirty feet up, and just like have it fly around in circles and then slowly fly back to see if anything follows it or jumps out at it. My, you can, minor illusion can't move. It's like, it has to be an object. Oh. Can't be a creature. So you, just, so you make a picture of an owl just standing there? Oh. Uh, I mean, I like um, that. So silent, there's silent. now a picture of an owl right there? Yeah. Yeah, there's just an <laughs> owl sitting on the ground. <laughs> okay. Nice. Can't uh, no larger than five foot image of an object. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, there's just an owl sitting on the ground right there. Yep. I mean, don't fall in the hole. Why not? <laughs> uh, I see this red misty thing. From where you're at, <clears throat> uh, you see what looks to be almost like a reddish smoke in that direction. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, everyone make a perception check. Nice. All right. Uh, Calliope, you're going to be the one that notices. Uh, yeah. You can make a dexterity saving throw with advantage. Uh, everyone else is going to make it with disadvantage. Oh. Oof. Dexterity saving throw. Oh, that's these. still good. Oh! oh. <laughs> Double ones! Double ones! Oh, oh man! Shit. Oh, uh, you died. Oh, so, you just uh, died. Calliope, uh, from the ceiling, you, you see this very strange thing start to kind of like crab its way across the ceiling. <laughs> Uh, what? And you're so caught off guard by it, you don't have time enough to say, Valorant, you're about to be squished by a big giant bug, and a <laughs> big giant bug comes landing on top of Valorant. <gasps> oh, no. Mm-hmm. Squish, mm -hmm. squish. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, let, me, let me get this guy off of here. He doesn't belong here. You're dead. You're dead, Boulette. He dead. He dead. Okay, there we go. Oh, K Fisher and a Red Mist? God. Um. So he lands on top of you. Uh, yep. Doing. Am I gonna get fished? He he does five damage from uh the 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 actual like. Uh, Easy peasy. Jumping on top of you, um, and then he is going to. 
Uh, my my aperture shield absorbs that. Excellent, excellent. Um, where are you, Cave Fisher? Uh, and then he is going to attack you twice. Um, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, so I would like to um use a reaction to okay. cast shield. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which would give me an armor class of twenty three. Oh, oh, oh. oh, wow! Because uh, it adds plus five to my armor class, which is currently eighteen. Um, so the immediate impact kind of knocks the wind out of you in the first attack. Although, if I'm surprised, I may not be able to cast a reaction. That's a. It it, it swipes at you. Uh, oh. it just just in the in the nick of time, dodging out of the way. The second blow is going to impact you. Um, yeah. and then, uh, at the end of it, you're gonna, yeah, so you, you take nine points of damage, uh, Oof. and as your, your senses kind of come to, you immediately cast shield on yourself, um, you know, raising your AC, um, uh, everyone roll initiative. <laughs> Clyde BLs, fell out and watch out, there's a bug on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, if if it's too late, she actually won't cast shield. If if it's not gonna, it won't actually. Yeah, it was. Uh, if she can't take a reaction. She can't take a reaction. That's fine. It would it would not have. Uh, She's it so all happened surprised. a little too quickly. Yeah, definitely. You had a bug fall on your face. Uh, her shield is her uh, abjure shield is gone. Oh. So, she still have temporary hit points. Wounds. She's taking real wounds. Uh, all right. Oh, initiative, you said? One second. Yep. Uh. Mm. 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 Might want to delete Newly from the initiative tracker. Oh, you did, Newly. It's okay, I made you a fake Newly. <laughs> yeah, this is a picture of an cool. owl. Uh, <laughs> you're not helping your case here much. <laughs> Calliope, you're up. A giant bug just fell on your friend. Um, and uh, you're, you're up. We're more frenemies, really. Yeah, your friend of me. Fell on your friend of me. Uh, okay, I want to do a quick glance around to see if there are others on the ceiling. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make a, um, I don't know, a perception check. Uh, nothing in the immediate vicinity uh, up on the ceiling. Okay. Um that I am going to let me double check hideous laughter yes creature of your choice okay um, I am going to cast hideous laughter on the cage cave fisher yeah cave fisher failure um, but uh, that is first level. Check that off. Okay, so it. Oh, sorry. If it has an intelligence score of four or less, it's not affected. Um, that it does not even. Yep. All right. So it is not affected. Um. So she says, "Hey, cave bug. You ever hear the one about?" the bug that fell on a wizard? No, because it didn't live to tell the tale. Ha ha. Ha. There, there's, yeah, a, like... there's a loud hissing noise and some clapping from its giant claws, but yeah. I, it, it doesn't even seem to have heard you. Yeah. F from the ground, Valorant just like stares at Calliope and just like, spreads her hands like what? <laughs> yeah, guys, that 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 didn't work either. <laughs> uh, are you moving anywhere, Calliope? Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, Valorant, what's your night vision? Uh, sixty foot dark vision. Okay, you. Uh, as a bonus yep. action, I'm gonna say, as I duck behind Korak, you're doing great, Valorant. And give her a bardic inspiration. Oh wow! How does that work? Wow! You get a D8 that you can add over the next ten minutes yeah. to an attack or a saving throw or a check. I think. I think that's literally the first nice thing Calliope's ever done. <laughs> <laughs> this is such bullshit. This is such bullshit. 
<laughs> it's also the last nice thing she's ever gonna do. I just want to be clear that like I, Andy, out of character, has said way more mean things about Calliope than Valorant has ever said in character. <laughs> I've said like two things in character. No, mostly she's just been passive aggressive in character. Oh, for sure, for sure. Oh, love it. Um, yeah, D eight. Over the next ten minutes, D eight. You can add to ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Nice. Um, and after you roll the d20, you can decide to add it. Nice, nice, nice. Um, Valor, you notice down the down this hallway here, yeah. uh, it's, it's rather um, your vision kind of collides immediately into what seems to be rather large spider webs. Um, uh, you would imagine you would see even farther, but it, it seems to be masked in the silken white of the spider webs itself. Shit. Hmm. Is it about the same color as this K Fisher? Um, it, it's similar, um, but uh, more of a uh, dingy white. Where this one seems to be uh, the color of uh, an animal that has not seen the light of day in many years. Nice. Um, K. It's my turn. <clears throat> so Yippers. I am going to. Uh... That. Oh, you're um. You should have made a Constitution save. Sorry. Sure. We'll see if you got knock prone. I would love to. I would love to do that. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah. E even though he he connected with you, uh, you you kind of stumbled backwards slightly, but you are not not knocked prone. Right on. Um. <clears throat> and I. Uh, how how high is the ceiling here? Uh, it's probably a good 20 to 30 feet. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to cast Thunder Wave on this thing to knock it away from me. Um, so it must make a constitution saving throw. I'm forcing it. Fuck. <clears throat> um, so, on a failed save, I don't think anything happens. Thunder, on a successful thunder, save, it takes half as much damage. So it's going to take this damage. And is not pushed away from me. Still good takes, damage. Oh, it should take half that. So seven points of damage. Yeah, did it? Oh, yeah, it automatically did it for you. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, so it's seven thunder damage. It's not pushed away from me. Does that make a noise? Uh, yes. Uh, so she basically... <laughs> That's cool. Um, That's she cool. basically shouts, Get the fuck off! And claps her hands in front of her, and there's big thunderous boom, um, which shakes it and damages it, but doesn't uh, push it away. Um, in that case, she's going to um, run away. <laughs> nice. So with a loud crack of thunder uh, and and yelling so at it it runs away she would, she would provoke an attack of op from that yeah it's totally on try um, yeah. uh, it is going to Uh, make a, <clears throat> uh, where is it hiding? <sighs> Can I just try that? That can't be right. Oh yeah. Okay. We're going to do that. Um, so as you're running past it, you get to about mm -hmm. here. And there's this weird, and yep. this uh, very sticky substance seems to hit the back of your shirt and uh, mm. impacts with this, uh, and you are now uh, considered grappled. Oh shit! Um, and you stop moving entirely. Oh shit! I don't even get like a saving throw or anything. Uh, not this turn. Oh no! <laughs> All right. So yeah, she she almost like gets lurched from her feet as she like, you know, like a dog getting pulled on a leash. 
her legs keep going, but her neck kind of stays back a little bit. <laughs> uh, Korak, you're up. Uh, so is this sticky stuff coming from the cave fissure? Yeah, it seems to have spit it at it, uh, almost some sort of web um, material. You're All so right. invisible, you, too. That's right. Yeah, you have advantage. Um, let's see. I... Can I try to, like, cut the uh, the webbing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you absolutely can. Uh, it will make you visible, though, as soon as you do. Oh, actually, I'll swing... Since I have two attacks, I'll swing at the cave fissure first, and then swing at the webbing. What you all can't see is Korag is dancing in front of the cave fissure at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> just like every once in a while, he just, like, rubs his chin. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. That's the best hmm. way to approach. <laughs> Here's a tape measure out measuring it. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> a solid hit. What do florists do? <laughs> oh oh damn. Maximum, Maximum damage. damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's there's a deafening echo as it collides with his face. Uh and, and with that damage, the string that had been protruding from his face is immediately severed. You seem to smash it right in its uh, toothy yeah. maw. Uh, nice. I, I will consider Valorin currently grappled, but only because she's covered in kind of sticky substance. Sure. Supplies, motherfucker! She's not having a great day, yes. <laughs> uh, you have another attack. Alright. And uh, this one... Mm. All right, yeah, since I don't have advantage anymore, I am not going to use my great weapon master. Oh, that hits. Ooh, good thing. And I'll reroll the one. So I need to so add extra four, seven. So I need to add four more damage to it. So that'd be enough. 52. Uh, with those two giant attacks, it is looking pretty rough. Uh, yeah. it, part of its face is actually smashed in slightly where your sword connected. Um, it does not look very happy. Uh, do you want to move any? Uh, I'll just kind of move myself between it and, and the rest. Nice. Um, with that... I think Valorant's entire role in this party is just setting up uh, Korak with advantage as much as she can. Uh-huh. <gasps> what is it? What's happening? What's moving? It's just something. That's cool. Is it Fine. eating my owl? <laughs> um, I think your owl was like here. Yeah. Here. There we go. Um, I'm pretty sure the owl's gone. It's fine. Go. It's fine. Uh, the cave fisher on its turn is going to uh, attempt to attack you, Korak. Um... Da, 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 da. There we go. I had a couple things uh, open here. Let's see here. A little claw action. Shit, your AC is not more than 16. No. Yeah, I just have um, chain mail. That's it. I mean, that's cool. All right. So with a with a slashing, it takes a chunk out of out of your side. Uh, it attempts to do it again, uh, and with a solid connection, swipes with its right claw uh, and makes a giant. Um, sounded kind of like a cat. Uh, Calliope, you're up. Um, I'm gonna try to shoot my loot again. <laughs> at the cave fisher. Shoot away. Oh, that hit. Pew. Yeah. Oh, what's it look like? <laughs> so she pulls out her loot and like she pulls out her loot and she like flips it behind her head to play it like upside down and backwards and goes and then like pulls an arrow from a quiver on her back and shoots it from behind her while she plays a sweet riff. Valorant says ow. <laughs> <laughs> and she 
shoots uh, the cave fisher. Uh, there's a uh, echoing down the hallway uh, of the cave, and there's this uh, loud. Uh, and as as the cave fisher is hissing at Korak, it takes an arrow right to the throat. And there's this yeah. guttural, and then just collapses to the ground. Um, and the cave fisher is no more. Yeah. Um, uh, and then she's gonna do. She's feeling pretty badass, so she's gonna do a combat roll up to this intersection with her loot out in front of her like a gun, <laughs> and she's gonna do like a quick like down the right hallway, down the left hallway, look. Nice. Um, again, I will say that you see there is nothing but cobwebs that way. Uh, this way seems to be rather open, and you're capturing glimpse of what seems to be some sort of reddish mist coming from this area. Okay. She's just going to crouch there. Uh, oh, shit. Valoran, you're up. I am grappled with uh, goo at the moment. Yeah, you can make... Ah, uh, crap. What did I... Uh, you can make a strength check to try to break out of it. Mm, would that be my action? Um, yes. <laughs> could do that or or you can do something i cast all my spells guys i can just cast all of them blow your load just blow it blow my load i mean how long can this dungeon be right <laughs> am i right <laughs> who needs spells didn't you say we'd be traveling for like a day no it's yeah, fine like the dm day. isn't laughing yeah. it's cool yeah that's fine look valor has been going through some shit and her owl just got killed and that's she's true. seeing red mist and she's not happy about it Though I don't know if she is. No, she, she just she is going to like go into elf girl rage and just say, scream, "That's what killed my owl!" And she's going to try to break out of the uh, out of the uh, the goo. Uh, I'll I'll give you advantage for that. Oh shit! All right, elf girl rage. Use the rage. You said uh, rage. acrobatics or athletics. Uh, it's a, a just a straight out strength, but if you have bonuses, I'll I'll let you roll it. No, no, then it's just a straight out strength check. That'd be a flat roll. Oh, you only needed a ten, so you you broke free yeah. with a elf girl rage, and you kind of yeah. bust your hands open. Uh, <laughs> the goo seems to fling off of you in different directions. Korak, you kind of catch some in your face. You have to kind of swipe yeah. it away. She's uh, going to run thirty feet for her move toward this thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so she used her action. That's her move as she's charging forward. And she's going to yell, Give me back, Newly. So she's going to yell. And then she has a bonus action, which I don't think I have anything to cast for my bonus action. <laughs> so she's going to shake her fist at it. Uh, that is an action. Um, unless you're a rogue. Yep. Uh, right, I'm done. This is this is what you currently see in front of you. Mm -hmm. Man. Looks friendly. It looks perfectly fine. Uh, Korak, you're up. Your your elf companion seems to run down this hallway. There seems to be some sort of red mist this way and spider like webs that way. <sighs> Chris, you're muted. He's stealthing. He's stealthing very hard. <laughs> he's, he's stealthing so hard. He's invisible and he's stealthing. He's not invisible anymore, though. Oh, he's just stealthing. All right, I'm. Uh, I'll come up and uh, just take a swing at the red mist. Do I, yeah. Can I see what it looks like? Uh, yes, you can. I mean, if you want to see what it looks like. Kind of looks like the screen. token. Kind of looks just like the token. It kind of does, yeah. I'm screen looking. I see it too. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, that's weird. All right, Cork will just run up and kind of do like a double take, like what the hell, <laughs> and, and just swing at it. That's what fighters do. Yep. You have one Solid. job. <laughs> you got one job. To fight. Oh. Uh, only job just to fight. <laughs> Fighters fight. Fighters gotta fight. 
19 ain't bad. Yeah, you hit. Oh, okay. And you, uh, you're you swinging with your plus one sword, right? That's right, yeah. All right. So we'll do magic damage in case Ooh. it's a magical creature. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, as, as you're kind of swinging through it, um, the blade connects where the air would be and it kind of swirls around, um, but there almost seems to be a burning sensation as your blade's cutting through the mist. Uh, you definitely can tell that you did damage to it. Nice. Alright, and I'll swing again. Swinging for the hills. Ooh, that hit. Nice. Oh, you're rolling good. Reroll the two. So I need to add one more. <laughs> hey, you know what? One point matters. Every point of damage counts. <laughs> it's the fighter mantra. Um, are you doing anything else? No, that's it. Uh, Frederick is oddly quiet. And all right. So um, as you've cut through the mist, it kind of reforms in front of it, uh, in front of you. And it is going to attempt. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Um, it, it starts to kind of form inside where you're standing. And on its turn, it is going to attempt. Let's see if this works. Oh, you succeeded. Um, on a failure, blah, 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 blah. I don't think you actually do anything on a, on a succeed. Let me make this just, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, so it's entered your sphere, and it seems to almost be engulfing your body, but uh, other than that, that seems to be all that's happening. Um, Calliope and Valoran, you can make a perception check. Uh, Calliope, you are going to notice that um, out from the wall... Seems to be another one of these creatures, <laughs> but but this one is going to be trying to engulf Valoran. Shit. Okay. Um, it's fine. It'll be fine. She's just gonna thunder wave again. Oh, oh, this is gonna hurt. Mm. Uh, Okay. Uh, as it as it constricts your space, um, mm-hmm. it, you you feel a pain you have not felt before, uh, and your maximum hit points have dropped by seven points. Oof. Right. Uh, Calliope, you're up. All right. Um, I am going to. Calliope is going to play a creepy whispered song. At that creature that no one else can hear, you're gonna be like, "You're a creepy motherfucker. I don't know what you are, but get the fuck away from my friends, you creepy motherfucker!" Uh, and play <laughs> <laughs> dissonant whispers. Hey, do, I, do I take seven damage and my max is down by seven? Or is just I, I mean, max down technically, by seven? your max drops by seven. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of these wounds. Um, I'm sorry, and I'm casting it at max. second level, and so it's track of what it, your original max was, Andy. Yeah, I wrote it down. Okay. So it takes this plus, oh, plus another d6 damage. So it takes another one psychic damage. Oh, I rolled Take that one. bag of holding. Bullshit. Uh, yeah, so bag need, of holding. <laughs> I need to add nine points of damage <laughs> total to which creature? Uh, the one that's on. I, I, don't, I don't identify creature, too. I rolled three fucking ones. Ugh. Um, yeah, so that is psychic damage. To... And it must immediately use its reaction, if available, to move as far as its speed allows away from me. Nice. Uh, and which creature, I'm sorry? The, the one on Valoran. Vampiric okay. Mist 2. Uh, so it takes a total of 9 hit points? Yeah, 9 psychic damage. And I has need to, to add move. one to that. If it has a reaction to use, it has to move as far away from me as it can. Uh, it is going to float away. I will say... Um, Anyone? I yeah, I was gonna say you guys uh, can definitely use your reaction if you'd like to. Oh yeah. As the mist dissipates from your square. This is a non-magical. <laughs> non-magical Ooh. something. So it's my fist. So I deal two damage on a critical. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, I, wasn't actually holding, I wasn't holding my dagger. It, it takes one point of damage. Yep. <laughs> Every point counts, right, fighters? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I have to just make sure it really takes that. Uh, yes, it takes one point of damage, so up to ten. Uh, okay, so and you did 14 points of damage? The back 13. Of All right, so I re-rolled the one into another one. Okay. Uh, as it floats away, there's this punch, and it kind of separates slightly, uh, and Valoran, you can kind of see Korak with a slight gleam in his eye cut through the mist um, as it kind of dissipates around both of you, reforms, and drifts away. It's like pinata whacking. There's also a, there's also a gleam in Valoran's eye as she deals two damage. <laughs> with her punch. That's right. <laughs> Um, and I will, um, yeah, I'll move, I'll move up a little bit. Safety numbers. Yeah. Uh, Valoran, you're up. Okay. Um, I, she's going to, uh, think for a moment and she unholsters, she's going to drop her longbow and kind of pull off a big scroll case from her back and mm. flip through the, uh, the cards a little bit until she finds one she wants and she starts pulling it out, chanting from it and will cast Magic Missile on Vampiric Mist number one. Is this the cursed scroll case you're using? I don't think it's cursed. Oh, I, think okay. I, just, I think I just failed. Oh, okay. But I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, I'm casting Magic Missile from the case of many at Vampiric uh, Mist one. Um, it automatically hits, right? Magic Missile? I, so, you know, yeah. Hits, and it is of a level I already can cast, so it if it works like a normal scroll, it should just work. But I don't know if it just works like a normal scroll. So a magic missile is what? Uh, three. It's going to be 3d4 three, three plus 3. Damage. Force damage. Go ahead and roll your attack. Uh, I right. mean your uh, damage, sorry. Damage is 10 force damage. Awesome. So, um, <clears throat> so let me add that to your attacking one. Yeah, the one on Korak. So that... It's up to this amount here. Um, okay, so as you start to read the scroll, uh, again, you have this strange kind of accent as you're reading it, um, and your hands start to form what looks to be, um, you know, uh, sources of light, and from them um, shoot three baked circular balls of minced meat uh, and fish, and... Uh, pastries and some rolled breadcrumbs all thrown together. They almost resemble meatballs of sorts. Uh, and you slap the mist um, through it, uh, dealing some nice damage, but there is uh, roughly about three pieces of um, you know, minced meat behind um, the circular uh, mist in front of you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, can I reflexively use like a history to, to try to know what kind of accent I'm speaking uh yeah you can is history appropriate I think um or um just an intelligence or I don't know what would work uh, yeah I'll let you use a history okay uh yeah as as you were reading it and this being your second time um it, it, it may not necessarily be an accent but perhaps maybe a lisp Huh. I'm casting magic missile. <laughs> I'm casting magic <laughs> missile. Uh, meat, meat, meat missile. You, you, you have been, um, a as you're kind of trying to reflect, you remember uh, 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 a meal in your past um, mm -hmm. that was similar in name, um, mm -hmm. but it, it consisted of, you know, circular balls of minced meat, uh, you know, enclosed in a pastry. Uh, pastry uh, and, and rolled in breadcrumbs. Gross. I'm a vegetarian. Well, you shot three balls of meat at it. Mm, I must not have eaten at that party. <laughs> pack, I pack my own nuts, just in case. They were magical balls of meat. Mm. Mm. Weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's my turn. Awesome. Uh, Korak, you're up. There's a uh, mist actually encompassing your sphere at the moment. Yeah, a actually, as she casts this, she's just a bit embarrassed and just sort of Korak and kind of give a little shrug. 
Does Cora get pelted with uh, some of the meat? Uh, it kind of goes past you, but you do uh, smell uh, a, a very uh, a good smell of uh, produced and procured meats. You're slightly hungry now. <laughs> Cork's just going to shout the the red mist. Oh, get off of me! And does like a little spin move as he swings his sword. <laughs> spin move! Nice. Spin move worked. Ah! Uh... Mmm. Nice. Uh, wow, these damage rolls. Really, really, so yeah. as, as you grab your sword and you spin it around in a circle, uh, the burning sensation and, and, and sight that you can see from this mist uh, as your sword connects with it uh, seems to intensify, uh, intensify, that's right, casting balls and pie, uh, intensify uh, until the mist dissipates with a burst uh, and, and disappears from, from where you are. All right, and then I just looked it up because I was curious. You can split up your attacks. You have two. Nice. Uh, so I'll move up to the next one. Do it. You want some of this, you little red balloon? <laughs> and then... Uh, oh, you hit. You oh, hit. just barely. <laughs> I think you were doing so good. Oh, rewind. Uh, Reroll those double ones. There oh, we that's, go. That's better. Jesus. <laughs> so let me add. Uh, uh, so I'm adding nine to that. Uh, seven more. Seven more. There we go. All right. Uh, the red mist itself seems to be having a, a difficult time trying to hold itself together at this point. Um, it, it looks very, very damaged. Uh, though you've not seen red mist before, so this seems to be new. I'm so incredibly damaged. <laughs> uh, this red mist is now going to turn to you, Korak, uh, and attempt to grapple you. Mmm, love that. Uh, Korak, you, you, uh, your hit points maximum is reduced by 10 points. Wait, he saved. He succeeded. Oh, did he? Oh, uh, then nothing happens. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, <laughs> not that I would enjoy you guys taking damage, but... Alright, Clive, you're up. I'm gonna uh, shoot Andy. it. Shoot Andy, it. did you take damage from that? I, in, uh, it's showing uh, it's Yep, it was still... Uh... Oh, sub uh, subtract uh, that off of there. Got it. I Fix did. that so it stops. There we go. I don't shoot it. Mm. Mm. Was that with your bow? Or your yeah. guitar? <gasps> that was with my bow. Something weird happened. That critical um, miss. So, um, Valorant, you noticed this. Uh, Calliope strings her, her... Are you playing your flute, right? My lute. Your lute. These so you, bows she's from fucking Blinky's shop. <laughs> yeah. So you, she looses an arrow from her flute, and uh, as uh -huh. it kind of streams through the air, kind of wobbling, she immediately starts playing a very uh, intense rift on her lute itself. Um, she seems to be very distracted from battle itself. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just so good at playing music. The song um, itself was very good. Yeah, I, I just keep playing. That's just, that's my turn. <laughs> Valor, you're up. Um, hmm. uh, Valorant's going to take a little sidestep over here, um, shout over her shoulder. Hey, focus up! Over at Calliope. And she's going to cast... I'm really curious about this magic item now. <laughs> I mean, magic missile worked exactly the same. It's just, it's like random. <laughs> Looks like it still dealt force damage, right? It did do some kind of force damage. It was magical <gasps> balls of meat. Yeah, sure. Weird. Um, yeah, so she's going to stand right on the pile of the red dust from the original vampire mist. And a cast ray of frost. Mm. 
Mm. And she's going to wind up her hands and miss with her Ray of Frost. Have you already used your Bardic Inspiration? I have not. I will say if you'd like to use it, you can use it. Uh, sure. 14, armor class. Uh, uh, I feel like that hits. Hold on. I think I, think I had a 14 hit. I sure hope so. Yep, that hit. Yeah, cold damage. 10 oh. cold damage. Partially resisted. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, that actually, I don't believe is correct. Hold on. Uh, nope, nope, that's correct. Yeah, I believe it. Uh, so as it hits, uh, it doesn't seem, Korak, you notice, it doesn't seem to be doing the same sort of damage that the uh, the blade that you're, you're wielding does. Uh, it definitely still causes some sort of burning, you know, uh, from the actual mist itself, but not as, as much as you would expect from this giant beam of frost that came from Valorant. I'm just imagining, like, teardrops of frozen blood crystallizing in the air and falling to the floor. <laughs> Because it's made of blood. It's vampiric mist. I don't know. Uh, anything else you're doing there, uh, Valorant? I'm done. I'm done. Uh, Korak, you're up. Uh, it, it's barely holding itself together at this point. Um, the, the the energy and the mist itself seems to be slowly dissipating. I said get off! And then Korak will just do this like frenzied chopping up and down. Like he's trying to, you know, whack some giant mosquito or something that's right in front of him. Mm. Oh, that hit. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you're you're slashing ferociously through the air, uh, the mist itself has this a moment where it kind of coalesces into one spot, and you connect with it, and there's this immediate. Uh, uh, of uh, mist and air and, and splatters of blood seem to kind of spray your armor as it, it disappears from the air itself uh, and the cave becomes silent again. Calliope is going to go check out the spider webs <laughs> <laughs> and see if there are any corpses in, in the spider webs. Alright, uh, make a perception <laughs> check. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, as you put your hands out, you're uh, you're kind of trying to touch and feel and, and look around, and, and you notice that your hands uh, are somewhat stuck to the spider web. Uh, you don't really want to admit it to your friends, but you are currently stuck um, yep. against yep. this spider web. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Uh, Valorin is watching. <laughs> yeah, Clyde <laughs> like shifts so you can't see her. Like, you can't see her hands. There might be some bodies here with treasure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. I'll be there in a minute. Don't worry about it. It's fine. How far does the passage go? <laughs> uh, which one, Andy? This one? No, no. I'm asking. That's Valorant asking. Oh. <laughs> I'm having a conversation with her while she's stuck in the. Uh, how far does it go, Abe? Or is it just end here? Um, it, you feel that uh, had you maybe have. Uh, done a little better. You probably could yeah, have uh -huh, walked uh -huh. between the webs, yeah. but instead you just kind of smashed your hands into them. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. So you you can see faintly into the next room. Um, it, it definitely seems to be encased in spider webs. Um, yeah. And very uh, poorly lit. I mean, there's another room, but it's full of spider webs, and it's probably full of spiders. So maybe we should just just go. I mean, I can I can. I can clear out the spider webs with some fire. Cora comes running up to you guys. <laughs> now Cora just kind of strolls up, like cleaning off his sword. So, what's going on, guys? Was there another uh, room in your direction, Cora? Uh, I don't know, Abe. Where does did that branch? Uh, this one branched off into a very long tunnel. Um, okay. That I don't believe you're currently using a torch, so I don't think you would have seen to the end. Uh, actually, thanks to my. New belt. I have dark vision twenty or sixty feet. Mm, yes, you do. Uh, oh, and it's not a new day yet. Um, yes, so no, you would yeah, have seen. Uh, <laughs> you would have seen down the hallway, uh, but it just seems to be a, a very long corridor at this point. Nothing seems to be um, 
kind of out, uh, sticking out at you for it. While all this is happening, Calliope is desperately trying to, like, free herself without making it obvious what's happening. Yeah, make a strength roll with disadvantage. I just want to roll a perception check to see if I notice any of this shit. (laughs) (laughs) Is strength with disadvantage? Yep, you're rolling with disadvantage. Both of your hands are currently stuck in the actual webs itself. Uh... Yeah, uh, Valorn, you very easily see that the webs seem to be moving every time uh, Calliope seems to move, and you get the a very uh, sinking sensation that she is definitely stuck and does not want to admit it. Uh, and Valorant actually, like, sees this happening, and she she nods towards Korak and says, I'm going to, um, I'm going to help help Calliope for a second. Could you walk, watch the back passage in case any more mists show up for a second? Sure, no problem. And she she hurries over. It's cool, She's it's not... cool, I'm cool. There's nothing over here. It's cool, I'm cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> She's not like, like she doesn't seem to be like taking much joy in the fact that you're stuck actually. She actually is like um Um, weaves her hands a little bit, and she's going to cast a ray of frost. Try to so she can break off a little bit easier. So she's going to try to like basically freeze the webbing. Hmm. Yeah, I'll uh make an attack roll with advantage. Sure. As she's doing this, she she says, it "Sucks feeling embarrassed." Or whatever. Oh, with advantage, you said. With, with advantage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so, as you're talking to her, uh, you're yep. realizing that you're kind of casting this this ray of frost, and you you don't seem to be paying attention uh, as much as you really should, and you're kind of just willy nilly kind of spraying the the spider webs in front of you, and and you realize this because uh, Calliope is definitely looking at you a little a little strangely. Um, and then you uh, go back and you focus your your beam around her hands, um, and they look rather frozen at this point. Can I try to break out of them again? Yep, you'll you'll have advantage this time. Yeah. Nice. With a solid, yeah. <laughs> you break free of the spider webs. Calliope, like holds her guns up and flexes and goes, man, I'm really strong. And then she grins and winks at Valorin and walks away. (laughs) (laughs) Valorin just takes a deep breath. (laughs) And she mutters under her breath, yep, you're the best. Everyone loves you. Yep. (laughs) Yep, yep, yep. Uh-oh. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> which, which way are you walking, Calliope? <laughs> Calliope's walking towards Korak, away from the webs. She's done. She's done. Okay. All right. What's everyone else doing? I mean, we could try to burn away some of these webs. Yeah, I mean, I think torches. Yeah, I think we should. I have an explorer's pack which has torches. Yeah, I'll light a torch. I'll lay three torches. Hell. I'm going to mark uh, it down. I'm down so, to seven. <laughs> so what are you doing with the uh, with the torches? How are you How are you lighting them on fire? Um, I have a tinder box in my explorer's pack. Uh, yeah, so I, after you light the torches, I'm sorry, what are, you, what are you doing with these three torches? I'm handing them to each of us. So we each have a torch. And um, basically I'm just going to kind of lead ahead of myself with the torch. No! Fuck that. I have a mage hand. I'm going to use mage hand to just slowly try to burn the webs away with a, with a lit torch. Oh, Calliope pulls out the alchemy jug and she turns it into an oil jug. And she's going to splash some oil on the spider webs so they burn better. <laughs> this is my mage hand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Amazing. Probably uh, not going to burn this cave down. No, it's, it's probably going to be fine. <laughs> Uh, Korak, what are you doing while this is all happening? 
Uh, Korok's just gonna kind of keep one eye down the tunnel and one eye on the burning <laughs> cobwebs. Korok, your eyes look really weird like that. <laughs> cool trick, though. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually part bird, it's fine. Uh, so, yeah, um, so you guys are starting a fire right there, it looks like. Yeah, I'm just trying to melt away the webs if we, if yeah. I can. They burn. Awesome. Um, they're like normal spider webs and they burn away or, or anything so uh you know they start to take a, a slight bit of flame and then Calliope who's walking over with her jug and starts pouring it on there <laughs> and like immediately there's this <laughs> uh and it takes f flight the fire immediately engulfs the tunnel in front of you uh and you see it kind of slowly burn away at first and then it slowly catches flames a little bit more in, uh, uh, quickly uh, and it's it's just burning quickly that way um, oh, wrong direction there we go. and a uh, colony of baby cave fishers just starts falling from the ceiling <laughs> uh, you do um, what's everyone's passive perception 16 16 as well uh, that's just 10 plus your mod I guess yeah, yeah. I believe so uh, 14 for me yeah, so Calliope and Valoran, uh, you're going to hear this sound, uh, and dropping from the ceiling, uh, roughly right, uh, is, uh, you know, a darkened, charred carcass with his hands kind of curled up around. Um, it seems to be a giant, uh, spider, um. That seems to have been burned alive and uh, charred. Um, there uh, is some more screaming and, and um, a kind of insect uh, noises coming from the other end. Uh, and then you hear this, Who disturbs me? <laughs> Calliope's going to freeze with the jug of oil, like... And she's just going to be ready to, like, fling oil at anything that comes out of the fire at them. Uh, there's there's one or two spiders that you see drop from the ceiling at this point. Okay. Um, everyone roll initiative. Oh. Nice. <laughs> How big is the room, the, the next room? Ba -ba -da -da. What are we looking at? Ah! I'd say by this point, it, it's mostly on fire. You guys can see everything in this room. Nice. <laughs> oh, I hope there's not treasure that I'm burning. Yeah, burned all the treasure. Gold well, doesn't burn. Yeah, money doesn't burn. Yeah, money doesn't burn. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. Magic it's cool. items cool. Cool. might burn. Cool. Cool. Just melt the gold into like a giant block. Yeah. <laughs> you are the best, Calliope. <laughs> Everyone loves you. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to move you guys onto this map so I don't have to deal with two yeah. maps at once. Yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah, so every everything uh, has now, at this point, uh, kind of burned up. There seems to be remnants of webs all around, um, but for the most part, um, the room itself is, is, is pretty lit. There's, uh, you know, pieces of fire here and there. Um, Calliope and Valor, and you would notice that uh, there seems to be <laughs> two spiders clinging to the ceiling. Uh, they're slightly on fire by this point. Uh, and in the corner, uh, this way, you see a kind of half man, half spider creature cool. in the corner. Who, what? Though he is slightly on fire, um, looks more pissed than anything else. Um, which takes us up to the top of the order, which I believe would be Korak. All right. Um, I'm going to just kind of get muscle my way up here and and uh, take a swing at Giant Spider 2. So he's currently on the ceiling, sorry. Uh, oh, okay. Which, it's probably about 10 foot in the air. You might be able to jump and hit him with your longsword. Um. Actually, um, I will just stand near Calliope and ready in action if anything comes with. It. Nice. Beat at it. Excellent. 
Um, with that, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, the creature in the corner is going to kind of point at you, Korak, and he is going to. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna cast a spell on you, and um, yeah. your party members notice that you you now uh, seem to be giving a slight glow, um, yeah. and, and uh, everyone around you seems to notice that um, you're very easy to notice and see all of a sudden. Oh, you've been fairy fired, son. <laughs> Valoran, you're up. Does it look like what I do whenever I cast fairy fire? Uh, yes, it looks almost exactly like it. Uh, seems yeah. to have a slight evil glow to it. Evil glow. Why can't mine have? Uh, <laughs> um, There's right. two spiders hanging from the ceiling and what looks to be a part spider on, on the how, outside. How high is the ceiling? Uh, I think I said with his reach, so probably 10 to 15 feet in the air. Um, levitate will not work. Um, I will cast. You know what? Let's end this. Let's end this battle. <laughs> I'm going to cast a third level spell. Uh, so she um, uh, roots around in her component pouch and uh, pulls out a little a little vial um, of some kind of like a green phosphorescent liquid that she holds her hand behind and focuses some light energy into and it starts to shower um, a 30 foot view it's a, it's a big cube it's a big ass cube <laughs> yep <laughs> how, about, um, how big is this cube? 30 feet mm. uh, so she makes a 30 foot cube of, of these sort of dancing uh, there seem to be like these geometric patterns, uh, diamonds turning into uh, triangles, uh, twisting phosphorescent like green, green, blue lines twisting amongst each other. Uh, it's very mesmerizing, but any creatures within this area who sees the pattern must make a wisdom saving throw. Nice. Um, if you moved it over just slightly, you could hit the other spider. Just a scotch. Yeah, just a scotch. I mean, All right. you would you would so miss everyone else forward. though. Yeah. Okay, so everyone needs to make a what? I'm sorry. Wisdom, Wisdom saving, saving throw. throw. Wisdom saving throw. I'm assuming seven did not match. Uh, Sixteen's the goal. Yeah. So the, that guy did not. Uh, He's fucked. He's fucked. <laughs> Spot <a> number <laughs> two. Uh, also did not make also it. Fucked. Holy balls. And... Yeah. I'm about to end this fight. Oh, cool. yeah. None of them made it. That's a solid so, hit on all of them. Here's what happens. Uh, on a failed save, the creature becomes charmed which is one. While charmed by the spell, the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. The spell ends for an affected creature only if they take damage or if someone else uses an action to shake the creature out of its stupor. So as long as we don't attack these things or attack them one at a time, they're all incapacitated for a minute. Can we enter the cube? Sure. That's, that's okay, we don't have to make badass. saves. No, yeah, they are there, mesmerized, but it's, they don't, it's only a save whenever I first cast it. Uh, Showstopper, folks. Are you telling your team that, or are you just letting it dance around? Uh, yeah, so as soon as she does it, she does that. She says, I think I got them all. If you attack them one at a time, they won't even know what's happening until you attack them. Nice. It, I am concentrating on this, so if I take the job to make it, so keep it up. And that is my... Actually, no. You know what? I'm going to cast it, and then I'm going to... I'm going to be bold. Move in. Nice. All right. The one above us, Abe, how, like, it's up on the ceiling... Uh, yeah, it's it's probably about 10 feet away from you to hit. The ceiling's probably about 15 feet. It's a pretty big spike. Okay. Uh, Clive, sorry, is it my turn? Uh, yes. Gun. Okay. The last, the last thing she'll say is, take your time and talk to each other. We have a minute. <laughs> Clive is going to start digging through the bag of holding 
and she's going to pull out the flying carpet and take Korak, fly up there and cut its head off. <laughs> and she's going to unroll the carpet for him. Amazing. I will say it will take your action to dig it out and kind of throw it on the ground. Yep. Um, but Korak, you could use your move action to command the flying carpet. I believe it has a flying speed of... Is it 60? Am I making that up? Um, I think it is 60. I feel like it's 60. You could definitely make it there in no time at all. All right. I'll, uh, oh, yeah, is... 60 feet flying. Do you have anything else, uh, Rachel? Uh, no, yeah, that's her whole action is to get the, the thing undone. Um, well, while you're getting on it, she'll say... Um, I can I can shoot it when you swing at it at the same time if you want. All right, like this. <laughs> Using some tactics. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, and she she'll ready a, a a bow shot for when he attacks. She'll try to shoot at the same time he swings. Yeah, I'll allow that. They're they're all kind of sitting there dazed in a kind of a stupor. So I'll, I'll allow you to use uh, kind of your next action uh, okay. to attack at the same time if you want. Um, the spiders are going to do nothing. Uh, Korak, you're up. <clears throat> so I will. It's a really shitty spell. <laughs> <laughs> it's a maze ball. But, but now you know I have it. <laughs> Give all the creatures high wisdom saves. Uh, <laughs> you, you also you also now have advantage. Uh, on attack. That's right. That's right. Uh, at uh, least the first okay, attack so. on it. Okay. I'll step on the uh, flying carpet and just kind of float up to the ceiling. Take a Which swing. Which one you... uh, spider, spider two. two. Okay. You, you notice as you fly up that the spiders are still slightly on fire. They definitely have taken some damage <laughs> from the actual uh, fire itself, uh, but they're still holding on. Mm. Yeah, that's a solid hit. Incapacity it just means that they can't take actions or reaction. Oh, he already killed it, but I double kill it. Nice. <laughs> double extra kill. Yeah, with your yeah. loot. Um, pew pew. Wow. Yeah, so a as you kind of fly up, you kind of study yourself uh, surfing on it with two feet, uh, and you swipe at its head, and you disconnect the uh, what seems to be the head of the spider and the, and the rest of its body. Uh, it's pinchers kind of clench close at the last minute, and, and then you hear this, bling, and a uh, arrow shoots right through where the the head used to be, with a solid, <laughs> uh, and that spider falls to the floor, just missing you, Calliope. Yeah, we did it. Um, Craig, you still have another attack, and you still have move left, so. Um. I guess I'll float over to Giant Spider 3. Back that as well. Oh, he's so dead. <laughs> that should have hit, too. Yeah, I don't know if it said it or not, but that should have hit. Uh, that, maybe I didn't target it. Uh, yeah, it hit. I double-checked. Jesus. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> Um, not stopping after you disconnected the head and seen the arrow shoot through the other one you fly forward and you slice uh, your blade connects with the top of the actual roof with a and you slice the spider in half and its body falls to the floor uh, you're now floating uh, probably about here-ish uh, about 10 feet in the air um, with your blade dripping with uh, what you would only imagine to be spider blood Somebody call for an exterminator. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, anything else you want to do, Korak? No, that's it. Uh, Korak, you're going to get inspiration for that, so there you go. Um, there you go. Uh, Valorn, you're up. Uh, so, Valorn just, like, sighs. 
and starts uh, weaving her hands in front of her and 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 creating a little web of of frost energy. And she kind of looks up expectantly at uh, Korak. She will wait. She basically is going to step off to the side and hold her action to shoot a ray of frost at the Drider whenever Korak attacks. Nice. Nice. Uh, uh, Clap, you're up. I'm going to move over next to Valoran and get uh, my bow ready to shoot when they attack. Your actual bow? No, no, my loot. I'm going to sell my actual bow. I don't need that shit. <laughs> I have a loot with magic strings. Uh, all right, so you're holding your action as well? Yeah. All right. Korak, you're up. Uh, Korak will just kind of float in on the uh, magic carpet and do like, kind of like a golf swing at the rider as he comes in. <laughs> all right, you got, you got advantage. I'm going to say... Actually, um, I don't think we do get advantage on this, babe. They're just incapacitated, which just means they can't take actions. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm gonna give it for you, but the other two, you, nice. you don't get it. Uh, but you're all uh, Korak, as you're kind of flying down, you kind of make uh some hand gestures to your team, showing uh, what you're about to do to try to uh, uh get it all at the same time. And Korak, I'll give you advantage. The other two, you uh, you're gonna attack at the same time. Okay. Whew. Oh damn! Oh no! Mm. Ooh, that one, that one missed. Got some, got some good AC there. The loot did not, though. <laughs> the loot bow. <laughs> Maximum damage. <laughs> Amazing. So, oh nice, it failed his concentration. Oh, so it's still uh, what you called? Uh. It failed its concentration, so... Oh, that was the fairy fire it must have had on me? Uh... Oh, yeah, so that would have dissipated. Yeah. Uh, so with that, um, you try to swing through, but you, you didn't judge uh, where he actually was. It's a newer thing that you, you're flying on a carpet. Um, the, the rest of you try to attempt to hit, uh, though it's Calliope as she's standing in the background playing her, her uh, instrument and loosing an arrow seems to connect right in the chest with a <laughs> uh, and all of a sudden the, the eyes of, of the beast in front of you seem to kind of clarify and now is looking straight at you Korak um, and then my second attack I'll Korak will take like a more traditional stance and <laughs> swing at him not, not getting so fancy are you still on the on the carpet? he is still yeah, on the I'll carpet still, I'll still be on the carpet <laughs> nice <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, you know, trying to kind of bury your feet a little bit, you, you're, you're kind of swinging, but the carpet seems to move more than what you're used to standing on solid ground, and you, you, you miss right at the last minute. Um, the beast in front of you seems to give a slight smile. Uh, oh, shit. Anything else you're doing on your turn? Nope, that's it. Action search. Uh, I mean, it's not too late. I haven't acted. Um, sure, what the hell. Yeah, we're probably, gonna, we're probably going to rest soon, so. This yeah. A, yeah this we're going to camp out in the spider den. This will be a sweet room. Oh, that's okay. a hit. You just hit it. I'll reroll that one to another one. <laughs> oh, yeah, solid. Mm. <laughs> nice. Um... Let me double check something. I think you get uh, another two attacks on that, brother. Oh, yeah, is you, it really? You get it, you're oh. basically taking your turn again, kind of. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Take another right. action, I think. And your action is two attacks. Oof. Mm. Wow. This guy's got good AC. He mm. does it. See. All right, that's it for me. Your controller wizard's gonna have to do something about that, huh? Uh, let right. me. One of these times, you guys are gonna think. Thank Valorant <laughs> helping you so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think at some point Valorant's just gonna have to get hit with the hit with the system of like, you're not doing this for glory, honey. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, he's gonna use that yet. Yeah. Um, he is going to start climbing up this wall this way. 
Good thing we've got a carpet to chase him. Uh, Korak, I'll say, uh, if you, because I don't think you've used your reaction yet, uh, you uh, could take no. a, a reaction to try to hit him if you want. Nice. Mm. I mean, oh. <laughs> so, uh, as he starts climbing on the wall, uh, Korak, he's going to look at you and he is going to um, attempt um, very quickly from behind him. He seems to grab a bow uh, mm. almost from nowhere and he looses. Um, two arrows directly at you. Uh, one goes astray <laughs> off into the distance, but the first one seems to have a solid impact, and with a, a weighty oh. <laughs> right in between pieces of your armor, you take a good solid uh, 11 points of damage. Um, and I forget. Um, something happens with poison. I don't have it in front of me. <laughs> Crap! Uh, if he is poisoned, then he is dis. He just dies. Is, is, a, is an effect you can drag on people. Is there a um, saving throw? That's what I was trying to remember. Um, bling! Uh, un momento, por favor. Poison. D and D five e. Oh, it's like disadvantage on all, on everything. It really sucks. My belt of dwarven kind, though, does give me advantage on saving throws against poison, and I've resisted poison damage for whatever uh, that's worth. I will say, well, then in that case, you're um, you're gonna take uh, it's gonna round up, so one less point of damage because the the poison was only part of that. Um, and I will say you can make a Constitution save with advantage. Okay. I'll see if you actually stay poisoned. Oh, yeah. Uh, so as, as the bolt seems to hit uh, between your armor, uh, you can feel the poison kind of pulsating through your blood. Uh, and then, um, this is going to sound weird, your your waist starts to pulsate slightly. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and with a very, uh, you know, um, deep... Uh, the poison seems to evade your body, so I, I will remove the poison from you. Uh, and it is now about, say, 15 point, uh, fifteen feet in the air, uh, crawling up the wall. Valorin, you're up. Yep. Um, Valorin... Oh, boy. I'm not sure if this is actually going to work, but I think it's worth a shot. Uh, I would like to pull another scroll from the Case of Many Scrolls. Um, she's going to attempt to read the scroll of Hold Person, which also is of a level she can cast. Nice. So I don't know what happens. It needs to make a saving throw. Yep. A wisdom so, saving throw. Uh, I feel like. Hold on two seconds. <laughs> Unless it's. It, it, it only works if it's actually human. It is it's a not. humanoid, yes. Then it, then it, then it will work. Uh, must I make a saving throw. throw. Cannot be charmed. <laughs> uh, paralyzed is the. Uh, All right. Is the thing that would happen to it. All right, and it's a wisdom save, you said. Uh, yes, sir. Fuck. Mm. Uh, so as as the spells you start to you know cast the incantation, uh, with that same kind of lift as you're reading it. Um, or person. You're, you're casting it, and the, the spell seems to start to connect, um, and right as it does, um, it seems to dissipate right into the air, um, and nothing seems to happen. But nothing, like, no weird stuff happens this time? Nothing nothing weird happens. No meat, meat missiles? No, <laughs> no meat missiles. Cool. Uh, uh, anything else you want to do, Valor? That was my action. I would like to... I don't think I can do anything else. Hold person would have been awesome. Uh, no, I'm, I'm done. Uh, Calliope, you're up. Alright. Um, Calliope is going to... point to the drider and say, Hey, you too many legs freak. What happened to 
what happened when the chef found a daddy long legs in the salad? He became a daddy short legs. I'm going to cast hideous laughter at him. <laughs> um. Um, the spider finds this hilarious and falls into fits of laughter. Um, the spider falls prone and is incapacitated and unable to stand. I'm assuming it has an intelligence of at least four. Yes. Um, at the end of each turn, and each time it takes damage, it makes another wisdom saving throw. Um, with advantage if it's caused by damage. So it, it... Oh, and you said it falls prone. Yes, it is. Yeah. it's Bling. It falls prone and it's incapacitated. So it, it falls, it kind of crumples on itself and you hear this... Uh, and, and falls prone, right? Um, and, and it seems to be kind of grabbing at its side. It, it, it dropped its bow uh, and is now currently um, incapacitated and laughing. Yeah. Quite, quite strangely. Yep. Uh, and I'm just going to... I'm going to back up a little bit. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to walk away. <laughs> uh, Korak, you're up. There's a laughing half spider, half elf in front of you. I'll uh, float in on my magic carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Swing at it. Or is, do I get advantage for prone? It yeah, it'll automatically it, it, do it. Oh, for it does it should, automatically? Yeah. Okay. A boom. Oh. All right. Let's. It's, it's AC is at least 18, I think. Stinks. Mm, that one hit there. There we go. I'm not hey, doing You should have yeah. a great weapon on that one. Yeah, <laughs> I should have on that one. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, need to take another four points of damage. All right. Nice. Um, so it, it, it uh, Rachel, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's going to stop laughing now? Or no, I have to it make makes. Check. It makes a, another wisdom saving throw with advantage because it was triggered by damage. Oh, well. Oh, it, it, it yeah, definitely made it. It saves. Okay, so it's still. Um, it still it's should still be prone, prone, though. Yeah. But on its turn, it can act normally. Um, it's still now laughing, but now Korak, it seems to be laughing more at you than anything else. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Um. All hmm. right. Um. On its turn, it is going to make sure it's targeting the right person. Um. Korak, you notice his bow is still sitting beside him, but uh, as, as you're looking to his bow, uh, he stretches out his head, and he's going to attempt to bite you. Mm. Oh, shit. Oof. Why did I roll twice? It, he's probably he's so still proud. proud. That's right. You hit anyways. Oh, okay. Yep, it's going to bite. But yeah, it's the prone. Prone gives you disadvantage on melee attacks. Mm. Oof. Mm. It's feeling good. Um... It's going to use uh, one of its attacks to then pull out his sword that he has in his other hand. Are you gonna are you gonna get rid of prone? Oh nope, he's uh, using his action to uh, still keep attacking. Nice. Um, there seems to be some sort of bloodlust in his eyes now. Um, it, but this is going to be with one hand. Yep. Uh, and then he's going to swing around. Uh, so the first one, he kind of swings with his right hand, and then he grabs it with his left, and he's swinging with both hands at this point uh, for a third attack, uh, which automatically misses. He seems to be somewhat off-kilter after this very big fit of laughing uh, and him still being kind of on the ground. Um, bow at his side. He's now wielding his, his sword, uh, but unfortunately he missed. He's still prone. Oh, oh, um, just remembered this, so I will use a combat superiority to do a repost since he missed. Mm. Make a melee weapon attack and add my superiority die to the roll if I hit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Repost. Repost. Oh, mm. yeah, he's still prone. Okay. Oh, yeah, that hit. And then plus a D8. One more. Oh, I will add that. Bling! He's, he's, uh, he's still <laughs> laughing, uh, but now um, 
he is he's looking he's looking a little hurt. Mm. I wish that he wasn't prone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Valorin, you're up. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Mm -hmm. uh... I'm gonna run up to it. Punch it. Uh, and she's actually gonna run to the other side of it. And I would like to use my action to assist Korak on his next attack roll. So you'll have advantage on your next attack. Uh, how are you assisting? Um, so she's going to pull out her dagger as she's moving, and she's basically going to start pulling at the legs and just basically annoying the hell out of this. <laughs> so basically like grabbing legs and sort of just like uh, knocking his legs around and trying to drag him away and basically just uh being a being a hellion uh he looks he looks a little perturbed sure sure i just did that and i realized he are you already had advantage so, but it's fine. double advantage double advantage <laughs> well uh, four times <laughs> valor you doing anything else uh nope that was my movement my action Clap you up. So he is prone, which means I have disadvantage on ranged attacks. On ranged attacks, yeah. Yeah, on ranged, do. Yeah. All right. But it should oh. automatically do that if you do attack. Um. I mean, what do you have to lose, right? You hit Korak in the back. I. <laughs> <laughs> so Calliope like flourishes her like she has like a wrist flourish and she rubs her two fingers together and it makes a really tiny violin sound <laughs> you notice that she's got a couple of rings she's been wearing but they are magic tiny violin rings and she's gonna cast <laughs> vicious mockery on him with her violin rings <laughs> oh my god what are they called <laughs> yeah a pair of tiny violin rings and she'll say, oh no, did the poor little Spider-Man fall on the ground? Sucks to be you, too many-legged freak. There's an Weirdo Spider-Man. <laughs> Played by a violin that seems to not be anywhere in sight. Oh, I succeeded. <laughs> 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 Nothing Nothing happens. <laughs> Amazing. And I'm I'm just gonna move up a little bit. <laughs> just gonna just a scotch. Uh Korak, you're still up. Uh he is still prone, though laughing uh, almost in an insanity level at this point. <laughs> Alright. It's time to finish off this beast once and for all. Double advantage. There we go. <laughs> Talk about the opposite of the rolls there. Mmm. Well, that was good. And then... And another one. <laughs> Double advantage. Yeah, I actually roll those teams. Well, there we yeah. go. That's better. So I'm, um, I'm adding eight to that? Uh, six. Add six to that. Okay. Um... As you kind of cut up through him twice, uh, you're taking off pieces of his uh, of his legs. Uh, he's now down to about six legs, uh, kind of wobbling there. Uh, there seems to be blood kind of oozing out of his, uh, you know, out of his lip um, through his uh, demonic kind of cackle. He seems to be spitting up blood. Uh, he isn't. He's not looking very good. Uh, Korak, uh, you doing anything else? That's it. Um, this may have been a poor choice. So, uh, again, my AC is way better than Korak. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he is going to, you know, wobble to his feet, uh, taking part of his action to remove his. There we go. 
Uh, so part of his movement is to reduce that, and then he is... Um, you see him kind of move his hand slightly, uh, and then in a... Do, 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 do. Yeah, it, it, all of a sudden the room goes immediately pitch black. <gasps> nice. What? Um, nice, nice, <gasps> nice. Uh, he is going to disappear. <gasps> and he is going to run away. <gasps> so we hear him moving away? Uh, you would hear him moving at this point. So... We could technically okay. take an opportunity attack at disadvantage. Uh, yes, I will allow that. <clears throat> I hope we want to take a dagger attack at disadvantage. Dagger, dagger. Yeah, I'm going to shoot <laughs> my loot at it with disadvantage. <laughs> uh, Valorant, you don't feel that connect. Nope. Can I use my inspiration to cancel the disadvantage? Just do a regular? Yeah, I will allow that. All right. I don't think you can take range attack as an opportunity attack. Oh, it's oh. a range. Oh, uh, no. oh he's well, saying I I shouldn't have done it. I just don't think you can. Yeah, I don't think I can either. I was excited. Uh. Okay, so a couple of things all happen at once. Um, <laughs> so uh, the drider kind of stands up wobbly and uh, you know, swiping his hands to the air, making his arconic. Uh, Arcana-like movements. Uh, Valor, you notice what he's trying to do, but unfortunately too late, and the room vanishes and becomes pitch black. Uh, you hear him kind of crawl away from you, and you attempt to swipe at him, uh, and then you hear Korak's blade slice through the air. Uh, the darkness slowly starts to fade, um, and then immediately becomes bright again um, from you know what little torches the partiers are carrying, and at the base of of um, doo, 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 doo. Korak's feet is a disemboweled uh, half spider, half elven creature um, yeah. who has now been cut in twine. Mm -hmm. And the room goes quiet. Uh, Valorin kind of sheepishly walks up to the body and just like looks around a little bit and then pokes it. <laughs> And then she says, Go team! <laughs> <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Korak's just kind of breathing heavily and wipes some blood from his mouth. He's got oh, you know, a bunch of wounds and stuff that are kind of oh. got under his armor. Man, you got blood all over the carpet. <laughs> oh shit, oh, no, I can, I, can, I can fix that. I cast branch the vegetation on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Valor, make a history check. Oh, hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Let me roll that. Mm. Nice. Um, through your studies, you have come across, uh, different bites and, uh, damages from vampires that seem to go away after, uh, taking a, a, a nice rest. Uh, <laughs> but that seems to be the only way to treat, uh, that kind of uh, infectious bite. Oh, you mean this vampiric mist? Yep. Oh. Ain't no thing. Oh, that's right. You guys are down hit points. I, you got missed. I'm the only one that got hit. Yeah, I resisted. Yeah, the, yeah it was just Valorant. Quirk's just got yeah. hounded. <laughs> yeah, he's been, he's been he's a little beat. 20 out of 60 hit points. Um, well, I guess we could rest? Yeah, so there was just that long tunnel, right? Uh, yes, that seems to be the only okay. other way out of here. This, uh, As you guys look around, uh, what looks to be the remnants of uh, still burning uh, webs around, um, there seems to be some sort of um, you know, carcass over that way. Nice. Uh, what looks to be a, a bedding, perhaps even where he was sleeping. Uh, Valorn, you're going to notice that um, the uh, wrapped-like body resembles that of what you'd see in uh, you know actual spiders uh, mm -hmm. twirling around bodies but the the uh, fire has burned away part of it uh, there seems to be some some items that you can see that may have been protected from the flames underneath the actual yeah. webbing itself yeah nice. we loot the room 
I put them in the party sheet. And Frederick probably heals Korak. <laughs> or or Barrett can touch me. Yeah, Barrett can just slap his ass a lot. And actually, I'm going. I'm just going to as I basically she starts throwing all these items in a pile, and she she says, "I can I can detect magic once I get everything." And then I I can make a bubble for us to rest in safely. And while we're resting, I can identify things. At some point while Calliope is like searching and looting the room, when she like passes in Valoran's vicinity, she'll be like, hey, sweet spell. And then just keep going. <laughs> nice. Uh, Valorant just like freezes <laughs> for like a good minute. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, she just kind of like blushes and keeps like going about what she was doing. So you guys uh, looted the webbed corpse. Yeah, yeah. She'll, she'll. I mean. She investigates. She is really good at rifling through stuff. I also took a feat for rifling through stuff. <laughs> so the two feats I took: historian and investigator, which means I can I can search as a bonus action. <laughs> She's really good at rifling through desks. I decided. Yes, because you need to, in the middle of combat as a bonus action, you can just search. <laughs> so she is going to rifle. Through. Nice. Uh, yes, you notice the following items. And she'll cast a detect magic so she knows what's magic. Uh, nice. Uh, there seems to be remnants of you know some weapons and things like that, but the fire seemed to have engulfed most of them. Uh, what seems to be left uh, is what uh, you, through your studies, have noticed uh, seem to have some sort of magical um, components or uh, are of some kind of um, <clears throat> metallic or metal uh, substance. Uh, you, f you find a very nice polished uh, platinum ring, uh, a dagger, uh, some sort of uh, gourd uh, seems to be magically entombed, um, the cloak the actual creature was wearing, and some random potions. Nice. Does the gourd ha is like a hollow gourd? Nope. It's it seems to be a full gourd. Uh, oh. and it, as you rattle it around, you hear some um, seeds in it. Oh. Uh, Why do you, you place it like a shaker? And you <laughs> see, you, you you said you were casting uh, identification as everyone was resting. Uh, yeah, I can do that because I only have to sleep for hours. Nice. Um, so it takes me ten minutes per item. So I should be able to get all of them. Um. Shit, where'd all the items go? They're on oh. the party sheet. No, that was a parcel. It was a parcel. It's not uh, a party sheet. Uh, I'll drop them in. Hold on. No worries, no worries. Yeah, so I'm casting alarm, which is the square. So, and then I'll cast the bubble, the the tiny hut, for us to sleep under. But the alarm is gonna go off if anybody that's not us goes through it. Oh, that cloak is really sweet. Bling. Party sheet. Up. What? Um. Korak, um, it's probably been um, from the beginning right. of the tunnel <laughs> and, and and going through. It's probably been a good eight to ten hours. Um, mm -hmm. oh, I dropped my pen. Ah, oh. oh man, how am I supposed to keep notes? Okay, ah, oh, here we go. Um, and a familiar voice seems to drift out of nowhere. And Korak, you're the only one that hears this. Oh, sure. Um. And you hear, I will send aid when I can. Caesar is very different than when you left. Return only when ready. Death, rather. Uh, oh, I typoed my own letter. Oh, <laughs> we're not going to mention this again. Death uh, or dishonor. Wow, yes. Um, death rather than disgrace. Remember that. Uh, let me just make a little note tape. We'll pretend that never happened. Mm -hmm. um, and you have... Um, you, you have um, uh, seen and, and, and heard of spells like this before, and you feel that you could respond, uh, but you know you only have a short amount of words that you could respond with. Okay. Um, I will respond with... Uh... 
Thank you, Father. I'll be prepared uh, to aid the family upon my return. Nice. Um, shit, guys. I really wouldn't mind that cloak, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a pretty sweet cloak. I mean, yeah. Did you see if the I gourd? I can control from the walls and the gourd. Yeah. This shit is bonkers. Yeah. I mean, I can already cast teleport, so if you want it, that's cool. Wow. Yeah, but this one, like, we might get a mishap. Yeah, that, that also is just the usual teleport. <laughs> that's how the teleport works. Oh, I didn't. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's... Oh, uh, are you identifying the other things that you guys had found? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point. Okay, well then I need to... Um... She's cooled off a little bit, so... Boom. Oh, that's right. There's the armor in the bag of holding. You yeah. now have found the Hammer of the Forge. Yep. And... Um, Ooh, wow. Where is the armor? It's in the bag of holding. I can... Um... If you drag it in, I'll identify it. Oh, I found it. You didn't mean to drag oh. it? Bling! There it is. Wow. Bling! There you go. Um, there. The I think it forge is sick. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, you guys ruled really well. That's not a trace. I did not expect you to find the hammer of the forge, I'm going to be honest. Huh. We have so many magic items. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to. We're getting so many magic items. We're just gonna have to start selling them. I mean, you do have a. Uh, you have a keep. That's right. Pump sure. it into the keep. All right. I'm just putting the gourd into the bag of holding because we're gonna save it and use it. Um. So who touched the gourd first? That would have been Valoran. Probably Valoran, yeah. Valoran, roll a d20. Uh, <sighs> have I actually identified everything? Oh, this is just, I bet it's just to see how many seeds are in it. Oh, oh, no. There's only oh, three oh, seeds. No. Mark it down. Sorry, sorry, guys. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right, Clappy, mark down that there's only three seeds only in that. Only three <laughs> seeds. Lame. Uh, all right. It's marked. Still, Still badass. All right, and the platinum ring I'm just going to take and sell. Yeah, there seems to be no magical attunement to that, just a very fine crafted ring. Okay. I mean, Iron Leaf Blade would be pretty sweet for you, Korak. Get that AC up. Yeah, although I did commission uh, armor. We could just never go back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you put, like, a deposit down, or? 100 gold deposit. Is, oh, is, money, a, is money an issue here, really? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, are you That's guys. Trace is sweet. I could use it in the meantime, I guess. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Because uh, yeah, I feel like even though I don't know if Barrack would actually switch up his armor, I feel like that might even be better for a Barrack too. Wait, is Iron yeah. Leaf Blade uh, an attunement? Uh, I feel like yes, it would be. Okay, I'd have to actually look at so it. That might, that might change your thought process. I, I have one attunement see. left. I would love to be able to cast my spells from not the ground floor, <laughs> so I, I wouldn't mind having the cloak, but probably the other casters feel the same. How many attunements do you get? I think you get, three. what, three? Yeah. Yeah. So I have, I have two currently. I've got one for my belt, I'm sure. Uh, your um, relic, Korak, is going to take an attunement slot. Okay, so that and my belt is two. Oh shit! And it's been enough time. Mm. Mm-hmm. I gotta do something real quick. Mm. Um, and it, does anyone else use a dagger? Because I'd take the, the dagger of venom since it's not a team. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Yeah, I don't have go a for magical it. melee weapon, just in case. Sending stones don't require attunement, do they? No. All right. Yeah. So I've got I've got three. 
items that require two men already. I'll have to swap things out if I want anything else. Actually, is that case of many scrolls attunement? Uh, I actually I wasn't counting it as a as a oh fuck yeah attunement. Uh, Korak, I just identified the actual um relic. Oh, us. Yeah, the cross of truth, the relic. A relic. Um, you and Barrack would have noticed that you know having possessed these relics long enough, you they seem to. Uh, identify themselves only to those who wear it or bear the. Well, the do you marks. want to Have you? What do you mean getting for magic items, Rachel? I know you have a lot of like, silly ones. But... Do, you want, do you want that cloak of Arachnida? Um. So can... Let me look. Cause I have, like. Yeah, I have the belt of the chairman attuned. But that's not necessary. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, it doesn't really it's do anything, does it? I mean, it'll... it. It does do something. It yeah. She's currently sitting on nothing at the moment. But does right. It actually, do anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I, 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 I don't I know if the climbing the... speed would be more beneficial to someone else. Well, I don't know. You could just cast your spells from afar, which would be. Nice. Um, I mean, if Calliope could climb on the ceiling, she would just always be on the ceiling. I mean, uh, the cloak of Arachnida would also go along. Breaking and entering, which happens to be one of Valorant's. Yeah. I mean, Calliope already has her cloak of billowing. Oh, you'd have to give up your cloak of billowing. Mm, she uses her breaker? cloak of billowing a lot. Yeah, that might be yeah, a deal she breaker, does. Huh? <laughs> All right. So, no, I don't want the cloak. I don't think that. I, and I think the autumn cloak is going to be better for. Probably. Blur. So I'm assuming no one's really going to fight me for the... Yeah? Yeah? Chris? Yeah. Nope. I don't... I wouldn't use it. Right. So excited. Cloak of Arachnida. That means I get another spell per day. Ba -ba -da -da. So many spells. Uh, damn. Hammer of the Forge is pretty sweet. Hammer of the Forge. Wait, every single attack heals you. For the Hammer of the Forge? Yeah. Uh, God, I wrote that so long ago. Let me look. Uh, yes. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Hammer of the Forge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you get an additional attack? Yep. Yeah. What? It's super light, super fast. Oh, I do not have the key to the Cinder, Cinder and Library anymore. I better delete that. I left it in the door. <laughs> right. Awesome. So, uh, with that, is the party going to actually rest? I think so. Well, I did another bubble, right? I did a, I did a bubble. I have the alarm Seems spell in the square. Um, and I have a bubble for eight hours, yeah. Yeah, so I think we do... We probably do, like, set a watch just to be super, super safe, but then just have a long rest. Nice. Well, this would be uh, this would be a good place to stop then. Valorant, you can you can fix your HP because it would it would go back up. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I will I will mark that you all took a long rest. Um, yeah. Valorant, is there anything you want to cast or um, do before I reset oh. the spells? Yes, I do. I'm going to attempt to cast Seek with Dead from the Case of Many Scrolls before I sleep. Okay. Um, she's going to... It, 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 this is 100% not how the spell worked, by the way. Um, <laughs> because you actually have to talk to a corpse. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but she's also feeling very sad. Uh, so she's going to try to talk to Harm with Speak with Dead. And it, it just doesn't work. But does any crazy shit happen? Um... So you're gonna go into a trance, yeah. Uh, and no one else is gonna see this. Uh, oh. But walking in front of you is someone that resembles Harm. Uh, they're a shadowy-like figure. Um, so you finish the incantation. You you kind of add it with a life flip. Um, speak with dead. Speak with the dead. Um, and we'll use Frederick because it's easier. So. 
uh, this this tall elven man comes walking in, very reminiscent to harm, uh, and it's it's going to say, "Why have you called me forth, little one?" Uh, it's very um, familiar to you, the actual voice. I didn't think this was going to work, she says. Ah, you were always smarter than that. It's good to have a plan, my child. Uh, And as you're looking at it, um, you realize this is definitely not harm, um, but what little you remember of your father, it's very reminiscent. I, so she was she was a baby. She has memory so of stories of harm. Uh, oh, okay. Stories from harm telling you this. This seems very sure. reminiscent of your father. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, she will. I don't know what to do. You are always chosen from birth. You will figure it out. They killed us to try to get to you. Who? Who? Who killed you? I don't know. I never saw their face. But I know they were sent to try to end you and your brother. Is that where he got the scars? Uh, Perhaps. My grip on this world was fading. I did everything I could to protect you and your your brother, but it was not good enough. There's a there's a look of remorse in his eyes, uh, and his his uh, body seems to be uh, shimmering more than it had been. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. And wait, 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 wait. He's, He's gone, and you're gone, and I, I am, I am. I am alone, and I don't know what to do. And I can't fix everything. Look to the moon bow. She chose you to begin with, as she chose me in the past. Uh, and with that, his his presence starts to uh, fade and disappears. Uh, your vision slowly goes back. Uh, you're now standing in front of the rest of the group. Uh, no one being any of the wiser. Okay, she's gonna she's gonna cry for us for a scotch, um, and then she is going to. Uh, mm, I got so many spells left. Um, I'm gonna cast wish again. All do right. Something that so as a ninth level spell so here's here's just a fun roll I'm gonna put into the <coughs> I'm adding, adding five to this and I would need to roll a 19 spell um, <laughs> but she's going to attempt to cast eight spell or any good eighth level spells she's going to attempt to cast suck how about um i know there's like a commune spell or something i can't remember what it is but basically she's just going to try to um no fuck it she's gonna try to resurrect harm right now oh shit Okay. I don't think that's gonna work, but um, <laughs> it is a. I'm casting resurrection seventh spell. As you wish. Okay. Uh, so you you read off the scroll, and once again, the the fire seems to burn off the words as you read it. Uh, there's a slight, um, you know, uh, reverbering from your your actual voice, and uh, you're quivering slightly after seemingly just spoken to what could only you would imagine being your father. Um, you release the spell and you close your eyes tight hoping and wishing uh, that it that it works um, the energy flows from your body and immediately you get slapped in the face with the same reminiscent um, wet 
and soapy sponge. You open your eyes, and you again begin to be cleaned by a giant sea sponge. All right. She's just going to lie down and sob, sob for a while while the sponge cleans. Uh, for a, for roughly on her side and get scrubbed. a full minute, uh, the back side of you and and uh, the side of you seems to be cleaned quite vigorously by this big giant frothy sea sponge. And by the end, half of your body, seeing that you're kind of balled up and laying slightly on your side, seems to be very clean and immaculate. Nice, nice. All right, and I think that's all she's gonna do. Awesome. I am going to rest you all. Bling! Awesome. Uh, and with that, I think that is an excellent place to stop for the night. Nice. All right. See you guys next week. Fun times. Oh Later. Abe, when do your kids come back? <laughs> <laughs>